guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for coming by, I greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time here, or if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. It'll let you know every time I get, I release a new video. Um, give me a thumbs up, leave comments below. You know the drill, right? So today we're making the Olsen mask. And I left mine in my car, so we're gonna pretend that this is one that is got elastics on it, right? So this is what it looks like. The elastics will go here and here and go around your head. Okay? I really like this one. I think it's one of the safest. It's just me. It's just a personal opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, I'm not gonna get into the whole coronavirus and my opinion on it and my fears and that kind of thing because this is a happy vlog and I just don't believe in sharing all of that right now. So hope you guys are doing excellent. Um, this will teach you how to make it. You will need a few things. You're gonna need the mask. I just Googled Olsen mask and I chose the one that's the Olsen mask um, website. You're gonna need a sewing machine. Obviously you're gonna need thread, thread in your bobbin, um, pins or clips. I, I tried using the clips on this. They did not work very well. I did have to use the pins. Um, you're gonna need some elastic, a hair elastic, the long elastic, um, ribbon, bias tape, whatever your deal is, whatever you wanna use. Um, you're going to need scissors. You're gonna need the pattern and obviously some fabric. So hang on, we're gonna get started and I really appreciate it. Thanks guys for everything. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Okay guys. So this is the Olsen mask. Let me see if I can make it a little bit. There we go, that's better. There we go. All right. Let me try to get you guys into focus. It's like it's trying. Okay, there we go. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need the, um, the pattern, which we know. So the pattern is that I just Googled Olsen mask and went to the Olsen, Ma Olsen mask site. Um, there is a seven page um, tutorial slash um, pattern. The pattern is on pages four, five, six, and seven. You print those out. There are six pieces. You've got, let me see here. You got two here. They look like this. These are called cheeks. I'm sorry, those are called face. Then this one is called cheek. And you'll have two of those. Let me see if this will help so. There we go. So this is called the cheek. And this is called the mouth piece, okay? So you'll hear me talking about mouth, cheek, face, and then so on. So your first instructions on the tutorial are to sew face one and two together. Now, it doesn't tell you how much of a seam allowance to do. I'm just doing the quarter inch because that's just standard. So let's go ahead and I backstitch. on both sides, just, just sewing them together, right sides together, not right sides, <laughs> outside. And then what I do, because this is the main component, I just flip it over and sew again. So you get a double sew on it. And of course my machine picks this time to be picky. And no one's gonna see this stitch, so. <clears throat> and one thing the tutorial does not tell you is that we're going to snip right here. There you go. You see the line? So we're gonna, st we're gonna snip right here. Do not go into your sewing line, into your stitches, okay? So we're just gonna just snip this will help it to um, rest flat a little easier. And I do about every half inch, just a little snip, no big deal. 
And you can make this using any cotton print you want. Um, I just, after a while, I went with plain because that's all I had after a few, after the first hundred and something that I made. So go ahead and put that to the side. That's your face, your face pieces, okay? Face one and two. Next you take, let's see here. The next one you take is your mouth, which is this piece right here. And you're gonna sew those two together as well. Put right sides together, you know, the same old drill, quarter inch seam allowance, back stitch. Now this one I do not do twice because it is not in the same, it, it doesn't pull. Like when you pull it down on you, it, it doesn't pull, you know. So I do the same thing on this one. I do some snips and I, I just do the snips here. Oops, let me get it in fo better in focus here. So we're just gonna snip, 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 snip. Do not cut into your stitches. you guys are doing good. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Doing the social distancing like we're supposed to. All that good stuff. So once we have that done on, let's see, there we go. You see my snips. So on the wrong side, like this is the right side. Okay, these are the two right sides sewn together. These are the wrong sides on the back. Okay, so you're gonna take the wrong, wrong sides on the outside and you're gonna take each side that is not, um, just the one side opposite from the, the, so the, line we sew, the line we sewed and we're gonna turn it over a quarter of an inch and sew it down. This is creating, um, getting rid of that raw edge and you'll see why in just a second. So as you can see, just folding it back on itself. Let's see if I can get it. It's focusing on everything but this. There we go. We're just gonna fold it over like this quarter inch, sew down, the, sew down the line. And you're gonna do that on both pieces, one and two. Now I just guesstimate a quarter inch because I've been doing this for so long. And on this one, do not back stitch. This is simply for decorative. Make sure you're snipping your threads, your extra threads as you go. All right, we're gonna turn around and do the other side. another quarter inch fold and just sew down it's gonna look end up looking something like this minus the extra string <laughs> You can see the stitch line is right here. There you go. All right. So make sure you clip those extra threads. I've got a few of them right here. Go ahead and clip those out. And now that we've got both of them sewn, sewn, sewed, they have been sewed. They are sewn, I don't really know anymore. I used to know once upon a time ago, but you know, I work with dogs and cats now, so grammar is not important with dogs and cats. In fact, it's often forgotten because I say, him so cute, look at her, hers is so cute. You know, you use baby talk a lot with dogs. I don't know why, but everybody does, so. All right, so now we are gonna take the cheek which is this shape right here. I'm 
right? And on the, the long side, the, okay, so you have a really short side at the bottom. I call this the bottom. And I call the top, you know, obviously opposite from it, not the curved lines down here on the side. The very top, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it over a quarter of an inch, so right down the line, just exactly the same way we did with the last one, just the way we did with the mouth. Make sure, however, when you're doing this, that when you fold it for that quarter inch, you're folding it to where the two, they're meeting on the back. So you want a nice clean finish on the front. So you want to get rid of that raw edge and you want to take it to the back. There's one. And now we're going to do number two. If you hear some noises, it's the washing machine. <laughs> so. It sounds a little funky sometimes. Try not to do that. I literally just got my finger caught. It didn't hurt, but it scared me because you know I have a history with that. And then I just cut off these little dog ears that it leaves because I want my work to look nice and finished. So I cut off the dog ears. All right, now this is where the written instructions get a little wonky. This is why I'm making this tutorial because I want, once I figured out how to do it, it became obviously so much easier. Um, and at that point, um, once I made a few adjustments on my end, it just became so much easier. All right, so you're gonna take your two cheek pieces. It's the one that looks like this now. Okay, and you're gonna put them, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom this in a little bit because this is the important part where I got lost. So let me, let me see if I can do this a little bit better guys. There we go. Those are the kids next door. I don't know if you can hear them or not. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Sorry I'm doing this to you guys. I just want to make sure that um, we've got it together. So you guys are going to be able to see a lot better. There we go. All right. So we're gonna take the two cheek pieces, right? Cheek one and cheek two. These are the mouthpieces we sewed together. We're gonna take them and flip them out so you just see the seam. You don't see the part that we snipped, okay? So this is gonna be a little interesting. So you're gonna put it up, and I always put the big hump. There's a big hump and a little hump. I put the big hump towards me at all times. It helps me to figure it out. I know every single time I'm doing it the same exact way. That way I don't get messed up at all. Um, I, I think it makes it simpler. If you don't make, think it, it makes it simpler, then don't do it. See, it's that simple. Is that gonna work? Okay, good. I want you to be able to see a little bit better. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it actually will. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take cheek one and put it on mouth one. And this is the funky part. Let me see if I can scooch you guys in some more. Okay, hi. <laughs> so we're gonna take, and I'm gonna put it this way for now, just so I can show you guys a little bit better. Maybe I'll, actually I'm gonna show you on side two. All right, so this is the side that we sewed down on the mouth and the side right here that we sewed down on the cheek. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna take the cheek part and overlap it on to the mouth part. Not a whole lot, you can see. All right, and then I'm gonna stick a pin in it because that's just me. I like everything to sit still. Um, you're gonna do it to where the top piece covers, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna put a pin in real quick, you know, so it's even here. You see where it comes in at? This is the top, this is the cheek, this is the mouth. You're gonna overlap them a little bit. And you're gonna do that on both sides, okay? So we're gonna take mouth one and cheek one. 
same thing. Okay, same thing. Now, I will tell you that the reason I think I had a hard time with this is because I printed it out on a black and white printer without color. If you print it up on a color printer, it's much easier to understand <laughs> because they have pictures. When it gets to, when it got to this part right here, attaching the cheeks to the mouth, I got super confused. So we're gonna do now what's called a tack down stitch. I'm gonna come right here, right here, and just put a little bit of a, a stitch, maybe four or five stitches from here to here. And that's just to tack these two together. Okay, just to tack these two together. I'm gonna do it on all four sides. And that is just, no one's gonna see this. As long as you put it up high enough, no one's gonna see it because we're gonna close it in. And that's just to hold these pieces together because it's a nightmare without doing it, trust me. Um, you need something to hold them together. So I just do just a little bit and I do it high up so no one can see it when I switch them. I, I do not back stitch. Now, if you do them too low, it's gonna look a little wonky. You shouldn't be able to see it. I know because I managed to do it. All right, so take out my pins. Bring out my snips. And get rid of these extra length of of thread. Now, you should be looking like this. You're gonna have a pocket. You're, you're basically creating the pocket that the um, charcoal filters, if you so choose, go in, okay? It's gonna go behind here. But these are pockets that are gonna open that'll, that'll allow you to put it in. And I always put these on top, the sides on top, the cheeks on top, because I feel like it's a lot um, more secure to put a filter in here and to have it covered up on the sides. Like they're still open, as you can see, okay? But they're covered up. So now we're gonna take the mouth piece, or excuse me, they're called face pieces and flip it inside out, right side out, I should say. Now, if you have kept the hump towards you, which I highly suggest you do, a little bit of organization in this goes a long, long way. You can see we've got two humps, right? One, one here, and one here. So take, I find it easier to take the face pieces, flip them right, or outside again, right side out, and then we're going to, so you're gonna flip this right side out, and then we're going to put them right sides together. And what I do is I line up this seam on the top, put a pin in, and then I, I put a pin in, then I flip it over and I line up these seams this time, the ones on the bottom, or I'm sorry, those are considered the top. When you, once you get the face mask made, you'll see what I mean. And then I just follow it down, and put a pin here, line it up on the bottom too, Drop the pin, pick it up, because if not, you're gonna step on it and it's gonna hurt and all sorts of bad words are gonna come out of your mouth and it's gonna scare your dogs. There we go. Now, you may end up with a little extra, see how this is? Because your one side, um, the, the one with the mouth and the cheeks, when you overlap it, sometimes it's gonna get a little wonky. So what I do is I just come in and lop it off. Just like that. The other side is really good. So you just start, you're gonna go all the way around. All the way, do not leave a gap. Normally we leave a gap when we're gonna be turning out, but these bad boys are gonna allow us to open it like a pillowcase. Okay, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So right now I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna start on the sides because that's just how I do it. Do it however you normally do. Quarter inch in, uh, stitch length, 
back stitch on every corner. There we go. And we just go all the way around. Go ahead and pull all of your pins out. I'm gonna scoot this back some now because I'm fixing to do some stuff that's not as detailed and you'll, that way you'll be able to see a little bit better. So go ahead and pull all your pins out, put them in a safe place so you don't step on them. Can you guys tell I'm accident prone? <laughs> so we're gonna go to the mouth and cheek piece and see how this opens. We're just gonna stick our hands in, our little fingers in Scoot them all the way to the back. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm so sorry. So before you do that, we're gonna lop off the corners. Let's see if I can scoot it back in for you so you can see what I'm talking about where there's light. So we're gonna lop off these corners. You see this right here? It's gonna give us a chance to make it super, super crisp. And I don't know if you can see, but I have not snipped through my threads. You cannot snip through the stitches, okay guys? This just reduces the bulk and makes it easier for us to turn. I'm gonna pull you back out. So you can get a better idea of what we're going, what we're doing. All right, so I'm just gonna pull. Stick our fingers in. Pull all the way through. This is where a chopstick comes in handy. Chopstick, knitting needle. Some people use their scissors, but I never have because they poke through the fabric and ruin all the hard work you've done. Okay, so we're gonna poke them all out carefully, gently. <laughs> Okay, so this is the front side. As you can tell, it's just solid. One solid piece, two solid pieces sewn together to make one large solid piece. Now on the inside is where we have the pockets, okay? So go ahead and flip it over on the inside. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold this piece over about half an inch. Let me switch. Press your feet here. Oops. You guys tell I'm like super accident prone, especially today. I don't know what's going on today. I don't think I've had enough caffeine. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my, my other sewing foot. Okay. So like I said, we're gonna flip this over towards the back, not towards the front. Okay, towards the back, about half an inch. And then we're gonna sew pretty close to the, where the, there's that, um, that's right where we did the original stitching. Okay, let me stitch one and I'll show you. I was trying to think of the seam. That's the word I was trying to think of. Okay, do not back stitch on this. Go ahead and cut your extra. extra threads. We're going to go ahead and do this side as well. Fold it over half an, inch, half an inch towards the inside of the fabric. The inside of the mask, I mean. We are not going to do this on the outside. Not the pretty side, but where all the stuff is, like where your mouth would go. Same thing. Go all the way down. Cut off your extra threads. Now, I use 
this. It's actually elastic. Um, it is one point oh and it's 144 yards, 1.0 millimeter, and it's, it's really stretchy. So I do one for the top of the head and the bottom. So I cut it. to 24 inches not stretched guys not stretched not sure why it did that sorry <laughs> but as you didn't miss anything so I take it one inch or you know 24 inches not stretched and then I feed it through this And mine is stiff enough to where I don't have to use a safety pin. Not a safety pin. Yeah, safety pin. Just slide it through. Come back over and do this as well. Now, if you guys are going to be doing it with the hair elastics, you will put your hair elastics in right here and then fold it over to match the hair elastics to, to encase them. But because I'm doing mine to where they can be tied, I did not encase them in because you want them to have plenty of room to tie. And this is not, I've made so many of these and it's not giving me a single bit of trouble until just now. There we go. And when I send them off, I send them off like this. I bring them towards the middle, run my finger, make sure everything is in place. Make sure it lays nice and flat. And then I just pull these down. And there you go. That is how you make it. All right, guys. Let me turn this around. See if I can say goodbye to you. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> Let me see here. Does it come back anymore? <laughs> All right. There we go. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And I will do everything I can to help you. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, there are some charcoal filters that you can buy from Amazon that go into these. Um, I have had a really hard time finding them to be delivered before July. So good luck to you. I hope you find it. If you don't, it's I wear it without it now. Um, I think it's, I like it a lot. So. Um, you guys, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Hit that little bell. I'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Hope you guys have a great Saturday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Woo! -hoo.